This is your introduction to Google Classroom. Google Classroom is a classroom management system that your teacher will use and you will use throughout this school year. It's a way for you to see what assignments you have and what you've turned in and what your grade is. Whenever you use Google Classroom, you're going to want to use Chrome. So use Google Chrome for your web browser and then the first thing you want to do is go ahead and type in google.com so that you're on the Google page and you'll want to sign in. So you're going to click on the blue sign in button. Your teacher has already given you your HaydenMagnet.org account so go ahead and type this in when you're signing in and type in your password. And now you've signed into Google. If you have your icon showing, it will show right there, otherwise you'll get a letter. So then you know you have signed into your Google account. Now, my suggestion is that you open a new tab and that you go to Google Classroom. You're just going to type in classroom.google.com. Once you do this, you can bookmark it so you don't have to type it in every time, but it's not really difficult to type in if you just remember classroom.google.com. Now the first time that you go to Google Classroom, you will need to join your first class. You'll see a plus sign over in the upper right hand corner. You're going to click on it and it's going to ask you for a code. Your teacher should have already given you a code or written it on the board. I'm going to type in the code for my class and it's just going to be a few letters. Go ahead and type them in and then click join. If you have more than one computer magnet class, you'll have more than one code to type in and both of them will show. You're going to have three options across the top. Let's go ahead and take a look at About first. This is a forgotten tab, but it can be really important because this is where your teacher will put in documents and information about the class that you might want throughout the whole year. So for instance, what I have here is a, cl a calendar of the units. So I also have my plan for success, a course overview. Your teacher could put a lot of different information here in the About tab. So just remember it's there, and when you have a question about something, it might be here in the About tab. The classmates just show who else is in your class who has joined. Now let's click on the Stream tab. This is going to be where you spend most of your time. It's going to show you all your assignments and your announcements. An announcement looks like this, this one rectangle that doesn't have any other icon, just your teacher and it's going to have information for you like an announcement. It might include a link or it might include a document, but basically it's going to be information that you just need to see and it's not an assignment that you would turn in. It could have a tag and we'll get back to these tags in just a minute. An assignment is going to have an icon like this. So I know that this is an assignment and it's got a tag on it. It's got a due date and here's the name of the assignment that I can open it right here and that it's not yet finished. I also have a document that goes along with this. I'm not going to click on the document here. If I want to see this assignment I'm going to click right here or here on open which is going to take me to the actual assignment and here is a, a this is just information. This is not something that I will turn in but it's an uh, extra document that will help me with the assignment. If I click on it it's actually going to be a slideshow. Sometimes it'll be a PDF. Sometimes I might have a video attached to it. So this one in particular is a, is a, a presentation. But I, can, I have two tabs open now. If I come back to my assignment, I can actually click on the assignment, which is your work right here. And here's some information. Files that, that you add or create can be viewed by your teacher. So whatever's here in this white part is what you're going to be turning in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the assignment. Notice that my name is on it. And it's going to come up as a Google document and it has some instructions here and it might have some more things for me to fill in. This is a fairly simple assignment. It's going to ask me to just do a reflection after I finish the assignment. And then I have a turn in button right here. But before I turn it in, I've got this extra instruction right here. Don't forget to add your Comic Life page. So I'm going to be working in Comic Life, creating a page I'm going to come back here to my Comic Life assignment. Once my Comic Life page is finished, I need to add it so that the teacher can see it. I'm going to click on the Add button. Sometimes what I'm adding might be uploaded to my Google Drive. Sometimes it might be a link. But usually if you're going to click on Add, it's because you have a separate file in your student account that you just need to add. So I'm going to click on File. And then I would make my way. I'm going to select a file from my computer. And mine's going to look a little different from yours, but you would click on computer and then you would go to your student account. 
I'm just going to go to my flash drive. But you would go to your student account, find the file that you want to turn in, and click open. Now it's showing up here, but it isn't uploaded yet. Maybe I have to do more than one file. And then finally I'm going to click upload. It's here now, included in this white rectangle for the teacher to see. I've added my file. My regular Google Doc is right here, and I'm ready to hand in. So I'm going to click on the blue hand in button. It's just giving me a little information there, and I hand it in. Now where it used to say not done, now there's a green check mark and it's done. Now it hasn't been graded yet because if so, we'll get it back. Now I might have said, wait a minute, I turned this in and I forgot to do the, re the reflection. So I don't want it graded yet. I can click on my unsubmit button. Okay, get my information back. I can come back to my Comic Life page. I can fill in the reflection and then I'm ready to hand it in. Now I don't need to reattach my file, it's already there. I can click on this turn in button and it's just like I was before, I can hand it in. And now it says done. Now I'm going to wait for the teacher to grade it. I'll come back tomorrow, so let's just pretend that it's tomorrow. Now I come back the next day, I log into Google Classroom and I'm going to check to see if the teacher graded my assignment. I can check right here and it says returned. So first it said unsubmitted and then it said done and now it says returned so I know that I can get a grade. I'm going to click here on the assignment and up here in this red circle is my grade. I know I got 8 out of 10. Now that's pretty good but I might want to know why did I not get the full credit. I'm going to look for a comment so I'm going to come down here underneath this block and where it says private comment, there's a place for the teacher to write a comment. So she said, you forgot to add your name to your page. I also can write my own comment back, like I might want to put a comment there that says, I've resubmitted. Okay. Now I can go back into Google Classroom, I can fix the change that I want to fix. I might need to add it. If it's a file and I made a change, I'm going to need to add a new file. So I'm going to click on Add. I'm going to go back to my student account and I'm going to find the next one that I want. Now I've made the change. I'm going to upload the change. The old one is there. You don't have to worry about that. The teacher is going to grade the newest one. But I could exit if I wanted to. So now I just have the newest one there. I have my Google document and now I can resubmit. I could have put in a comment here so the teacher knows I've resubmitted it. Then I'm going to wait for my new grade. Now the next day I come back and I see that it's been returned again. I can click on it. This time I see I've got 10 out of 10 and my new comment was good job. So I can check this with my grade and student view, make sure that it was recorded correctly and I can keep track of all my work. But feel free to add a comment so that you can let the teacher know of any troubles that you're having and check for comments back from your teacher. Now I don't want to close this window, it's kind of tempting to do sometimes, but if so, you will close out of Google Classroom. So just use your back arrow right here. I can go back to my stream. So I've done this assignment. Um, it's returned. I've looked at this comment. I have another one. This particular assignment has a few more things. If I click on it, I can see that there's a, a slide. There's a video right here. There's another video. And then there's the actual assignment that I will turn in. So you will click here to actually open your assignment fill in all the things that I need to fill in by looking at the other videos. And then when I'm ready, I'll be able to turn it in by using this gray button. Or I can close this one because it's not Google Classroom. This one's Google Classroom. I can close this one and I can hand it in when it's ready. If I get this one back and it's not correct, I can just correct it. I'm not adding any files for this particular assignment. So just kind of pay attention to what the directions are. Here's a lot of directions for this assignment. You don't want to pass them up. If your teacher took the time to write directions, make sure you read them. Okay, I'm going to click on the back arrow, back to our regular stream. Now we do have some topics here and a lot of the assignments have tags. So one thing you can do if I want to only look at the most recent tag, maybe I only want to look at what's in Alice Unit 1. If I click on this topic, 
The only things that sign up are the ones that are tagged that way. If I'm a magnet student, I want, I want to see what are things only for magnet students, I can click here. So the tags help you organize things and just it's kind of used like a filter so that you don't have to search everything. So that's just a handy thing right there if you want to use your tags. Then I'm going to click on my back arrow whenever I want to go back to my normal view. The last thing we're going to look at is in the option up here in the upper left hand corner. This lets you manage your menu. If you have more than one course, it will show up here. I can also go to my Google Calendar and I can take a look at my work. So let's click here. It's going to show me any work that's just about to be due. It's late work. I can have the to do, the things I haven't done yet, and I can look at the ones that are done. So this is going to organize your work as well, and if you're thinking about, I have a little bit of free time, what can I do? I can take a look at the to-do list, and um, maybe going from the most recent to the oldest assignments, I can take a look and I can get some things done. So you can use all of this information to help you stay organized and on task and receive a great, excellent grade during this school year.